Hi everyone, this lesson is for littles. I'm gonna do a story for you today. It's called Five Little Monkeys Sitting in a Tree and then I'll show you how to make this giant, <laughs> really giant alligator. Are you ready for our story time? Okay, let's do it. Five Little Monkeys Sitting in a Tree by Eileen Cristolo. Five little monkeys and their mama walked down to the river for a picnic supper. Mama spreads out a blanket and settles down for a snooze, while five little monkeys climb a tree to watch Mr. Crocodile. Five little monkeys sitting in a tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, quiet as can be, and snap. Oh no, where is she? Four little monkeys sitting in a tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, quiet as can be, and snap. Oh no, where is he? Three little monkeys sitting in a tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile as quiet as can be and snap. Oh no, where is he? Two little monkeys sitting in a tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile as quiet as can be and snap. Now there's only one little monkey sitting in the tree, teasing Mr. Crocodile. You can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Crocodile, quiet as can be, snap. Oh no, there are no little monkeys sitting in the tree. <laughs> but wait, look. One, two, three, four, five. Five little monkeys sitting in the tree. They were hiding. Their mama hugs them. Oh. Their mama scolds them. Never tease a crocodile. It's not nice and it's dangerous. Then five little monkeys and their mama eat a delicious picnic supper. And they do not ever, no never, tease Mr. Crocodile ever again. The end. Okay, so I have three pieces of paper here and my paper is green. If you don't have green paper, you could just use white paper and just color it green before you start. So we're gonna begin with just one of those pieces of paper. And this is gonna be the body. So we're going to cut off the corners, cut off all four corners. One, two, three, four. All right, so we just cut off the corners. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just cut those corners off. That's the body. So now we're going to grab the one of the, we're going to put this aside and we're going to grab one of the other pieces. Right, now this is going to be the head. So what we're going to do first is we're going to cut off the two corners on this side, cut off the two corners. Now for the other side, we're going to round this so that it looks like the snout of a crocodile, like in the story. Or you could do an alligator, but it'll be more of a U shape. For a crocodile, you're going to do more of a V-shape. So I'm just going to grab this and come around. Almost kind of like an egg. Egg shape. When we're done, it'll kind of look like an egg shape. Okay, so there it is. That's the, that's the head. Okay, so we just cut off the two corners. And we just kind of round it off that snout. 
All right, so now we're gonna put this away. And we're gonna get our third piece of paper. And here it is. Now this one's just gonna be a triangle. So I'm gonna start here at one of these corners and go to the middle, at the bottom. I'm just going, I'm headed toward the middle. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Making a triangle. Okay, so there it is, I found my triangle. Now we're gonna put all this together. So let's start with the body. So grab that body, the one that we just cut all four corners off of. And this is where we're gonna, this will be where we start. So we're gonna put glue here and glue here for our head. The head will go here and for the tail, the tail will go here. So glue here and glue here. So then we just stick our head on there, on this end, and then the tail was the one that looked like the triangle. We're gonna just stick that on this end. Okay, now we had a little bit of paper left over. When we cut that triangle, there were two little pieces that were left over. I should have told you, I hope you saved those, because we're just gonna cut legs with that. So just cut four, one, two, let me grab the other one, three, um, maybe I'll come like this way, four. So really basically four rectangle kind of shapes. And those are going to go on each side, two over here and two over there. So grab your glue, one, two, three, four. And just stick those legs on. One, two, three, four. There, we added on our legs. Now the only thing left to do is to give this crocodile a face. So let's come right here to the face part. And let's put on eyes. I'll just draw my eyes. Two circles with circles in the middle. And two little nose holes. Move that so you can see. Oh, there they are. All right, so this alligator is pretty giant. So I'm going to just come back around to the classroom so I can show you how he turned out. So here's my big giant alligator. And if you want to, you can add some teeth. And this one has googly eyes, but we drew our eyes on the other one that we did in the at the art table. But here you have it. It's a giant, a giant crocodile or alligator that goes along with our story for today. I hope you had fun and join me here in the classroom for another story time in art. Goodbye, everyone. Have a great rest of your day.